And then here, for number 9 and 10, I want to combine both of these, and I want to talk about consumer surplus, producer surplus, and the deadweight loss. So what happens here when we draw supply and demand is that we create for ourselves an equilibrium price and quantity. But now what you see here is that there's a difference between this demand and the price that's paid, which gives us consumer surplus. Which is basically the difference between what I was willing to pay versus what I actually paid. See, the demand curve here represents what I was willing to pay. I was willing to pay this price to get that quantity, but I actually only paid that price. So there's a difference. At this quantity, I was willing to pay this price but I only had to pay that price. Remember, the demand curve captures my willingness and ability to pay the price. So I was willing to pay this price, but I actually only had to pay, pay this price. It's kind of like a, a feeling like I got a good deal. And so basically, we can sum that up. And what we do when we sum that up is that we have our demand curve, our supply curve, and this entire upper triangle is my consumer surplus, what I'll refer to as CS. Now the producer has the same thing going on. For the producer surplus, there's now going to be a difference What between what the firm was willing to sell it for versus what they actually got. This is not profit. I'll repeat again, this is not profit. Rather, they basically sold the thing f for more than the minimum price of what it cost them to make it, meaning that there's a difference between the point on the supply curve and the price that they actually received, between the supply curve and the price that they actually received, meaning that my supply curve now is my lower part of the triangle. Now what you see absent here is a dead weight loss. And it's caused by reduced quantity. Let me give you let me draw out what that would look like. Let's say that I impose a um, price ceiling. So a price ceiling would be below the equilibrium price. So now what we would see here is that the price charged is down here and the consumer surplus is going to be this region that's going to be the area below the demand curve to the price. But it only goes to right here. And it only goes to right here because this is the quantity that's sold. The producer surplus will be right there. 
But then there is this triangle right here. That is my dead weight loss, DWL. And it's caused by the fact that my quantity is now somewhat less. It's basically a loss to all of society caused by the fact that um, basically I have this permanent uh, shortage in the market. I have a reduced quantity of items sold.